Okay, let's look at one really important thing for development. Um, right now I'm gonna bring up the dev tools with my keyboard command and I'm in the network panel. And as you can see right here, I have this disable cache set. So you're gonna wanna set that because once you start developing with a server, the front end is going to sometimes cache your files, meaning you won't see the latest thing here. So if you have this button checked, you'll be able to see all the latest changes that you make when you are developing with a server setup. Now in this lesson, I also wanted to quick touch on the performance and memory tabs. I go into these in great detail in the follow-up class, but right here, if I select performance, I can press command R and it's actually recording all the things that are happening on the page when you reload. And it shows me some screenshots and all kinds of different information about what is happening at load time on the page. Now this is a pretty small window here, so let me make this full size. And there's all kinds of information about the JavaScript memory usage or the number of documents being shown at that time, the number of nodes, the number of listeners, and memory. So this is a pretty advanced feature. Now the memory tab is also kind of similar. I can take a heap snapshot and this takes a snapshot of all the memory that's being used on the page. So if I select this and bring this down, this shows me information about the memory that's being used on the page. This is a pretty advanced feature. You probably won't get into it much until you start getting deep into app development. Now, one other thing I wanted to show was this bad SSL page. This gives you a bunch of examples of SSL that's done wrong. So let me bring up the dev tools and I'm gonna to go to the security tab. Now this page is a secure right here, but if I select one of these, like an expired SSL ticket, if I bring this up, it says this page is not secure, broken HTTPS. So this is really a lot for backend or ops people, but it will help you figure out what potentially might be wrong with the security on your page. Now we have this big ugly red screen, but I do wanna show you the places you can go to find other tools. So down here, there's a more, more tools section, and this will actually bring up different panels that you might not already have up here. So for instance, I'm gonna bring up the rendering panel and this gives me information about how the page renders. So I encourage you to kind of go in there and play around with the different tools that are available. And again, I'm gonna go into these in greater detail in the follow-up class.